I thought first that first I thought you said see ya babies. I'm like I don't. They're young, but I don't know if I would say babies. Message appraised. About time. Not enough people respecting my messages, honestly. Comet is better than it was at release for sure. Uh, once you've got, I mean, and I have enough mana now, especially in outdoor areas, that I don't really worry about the inefficiency. It's just good, fast damage. But Pebble is still really good. Like, it's fast, it's got a decent range, and for me right now, depending on my loadout, it can do like five to six hundred dollars, or six hundred dollars of damage. It can do this much property damage. But yeah, it does about five to six hundred damage. Pebble. And again, granted, I'm very heavily int. Like, I'm almost soft capped at like 79 int when I've got my talisman and stuff. And I mostly just wear gear for looks. Uh, even though I was wearing tougher gear, because we're in the area where mobs do ludicrous amounts of damage. So it's not a bad idea. Message phrase saving a boss fight? I don't think I've ever got one that... I think I've maybe gotten one when I wasn't already healed. The max. I think. Wait, which game is Compy needing to go through? But how are you guys doing? All you raiders who are probably asleep because I put you there. How are y'all doing? Not my normal crowd. I know how they're doing and I don't really care. But you guys, you I care about. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm hoping that by Sunday, and I said this last Sunday, or last week, but I'm hoping by Sunday we're going to be very close to having this game beat. Not that I'm not enjoying it, but I mean, this is, as you can see, day 27 that I have streamed this. It's a little ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I don't think there's anything up there, though. That's kind of messing around. Now, now over here, I'm going to double jump. Uh, you thought. Nope, nope. Game. Stop. Oh, it'll definitely have DLC. I mean, there's no reason it, it wouldn't. But yeah, you know, it's... Honestly, I hope it takes a while, because I'm going to need a break from the game. Like, I've, I've said a few times, I have no intention of... Uh... I almost forgot which button was jump. As I was going across. Which has happened to me more than once. But I will probably do, like, the first boss on New Game Plus just to, you know, kind of see how it is. Because I, I presume I'll blow through it. Because in other FromSoft games, typically in New Game Plus, especially if you explore a lot, uh, you tend to be over-leveled for the beginning, at least, of New Game Plus. So you blow that stuff up. And I think that could be fun to just blow up the beginning of the game. Uh, but I think we've put quite enough hours into this. Again, not that I'm not enjoying it, because I do. I think it's very good. And it has it has plenty of flaws, which I think some people have very hard troubles acknowledging. But uh, it is... Ah, oh, hell. Oh, okay, I've been in there. I've done that one. But it's uh, definitely incredibly good. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you. Don't you dare be hitching when I'm running next to cliffs, games. Don't you dare. Oh, 
The thing is, I'm really bad about going back to DLC. Like, no matter how much I enjoy the game, I'll even finish the game and be like, oh, yeah, man, with the DLC, it comes out, I'm coming back. And then I never do. So I'm not going to say I'm going to come back for the DLC, because I'm just going to jinx it. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But the thing is, too, I feel like they're just going to make everything... Well, that's the other thing, too. I don't really want to do New Game Plus in the DLC. I might I might cheese it. Actually, does anybody know when you beat the game, does it automatically kick you to New Game Plus? Or is it one of those where you need to, like, do something first and then it kicks you to DLC? Hmm. Huh, good sign. Introspection. Okay. The only DLC I've done for from Soft Games is Dark Souls 1. And the only reason I did that one was because I didn't play Dark Souls until the Prepare to Die edition. Giant Conquering Hero's Grave. Everybody's favorites. Everybody loves Hero Graves. I actually don't hate them that much. They're not my favorite, but I think they're interesting changes always check the roofs always check the signs you guys know that by now y'all know what's up flame protect me because hmm. we have the flame cleanse me spell let's see what that does real quick first time in years you played a game on release I guess that's true of the ones that I remember you talking about. Other than your disgusting weeby games. I would say that that's true. That I mean that I know. And I keep track of every single game you ever play. That's definitely top of my list. Should be under here, I think. Greatly increases fire fire damage negation. Because your fire within the greatly increases fire damage negation. It is said that the incantation was used during the war against the giants long ago, during which it protected the champions of the earth tree. Gee, I wonder if that will be useful in here. Uh, it gives you a warning if you're going to go to New Game Plus, you think. Because if it doesn't, then I would like to like make a save. Ugh. I don't know why, but you know what this reminded me of? That really... Uh, those really shitty enemies in Bloodborne. That uh, it was one of those enemies where oh my God, where they did da like oh no they uh, damaged your max health just by being near them. That was such a there were some really bad enemy designs in Bloodborne. Like I love Bloodborne and everything, but my God, there was some terrible enemy design. I feel like you've gotten pretty desperate. For an enemy, when you're thinking like, I've got an idea. What if just being around the enemy damages you? Like, I feel like we've, we've hit the bottom of the well. Or Dina. Wait, is that where I think it is? Where's that at, comp? Oh, yeah, we already know what's there. We've learned that lesson. Uh, we should also level. 
because we are almost certainly going to get some cheap instant kill deaths here. The second snow place. Is it that town of all Banarix? This one? Uh, what do you do there? Oh, God. You're going to... Oh, God. You're going to hate that place. Uh, go into the... Um, go to talk to the... By the statue. You have to go into the jail. Let's. How many do we need? Six thousand. Uh, how much is this? The thing that sucks about doing this is like, it doesn't tell you how many you get. So it's. Kind of pointless. Don't ruin all of it, Velix. Just get her pointed in the right direction so she can find out herself. The fun way. Endurance or dexterity? Endurance, I mean, dex is good for, I mean, casting speed, sort of. More stamina is always good. Also, it lets us wear heavier stuff, which is kind of useful. Vigor's never, well, never a bad idea until 60. Let's go dex. Maybe we'll get a little bit of help. Can you kill the knight? Yes. If you can find them. If you can find them. You will. Don't worry. You 100% will. 0% chance that you don't. Damn it. Katana Master! You should stream that part, Comp. I would love to watch that. Alright, let's check this way first and we'll kind of see what we should do here. We can... Swap this for something a little bit more useful, I think. Sure. We use charge spells a lot. hate this enemy, as we all do. It is, it does look bugged. Like the way it's like all black, it's like it's not even in the shadows, it's like the model isn't there. He really is in the shadows with Shia LaBeouf. Oh, okay. I'm sure you won't mind if I just go and grab this.
Oh, God. All right. I already ate this. Let's see. I do have an idea, though. But I can't... Oh, shit. No, jackass. I'm trying to look through my... Not do shit. They said try jump attack, but I thought maybe. <sighs> All right, let's figure out what this gimmick is. Was it the sentry? The sentry's torch, which is good for hiding. Finding things that are trying to be hidden. Hollywood superstar shine above. Hey, shield, stupid shield. Yeah, I was like right on the edge of being overburdened. That's why I didn't want to add it. That's why I swapped to the shield instead. But given this guy's note about light required, I'm guessing this has something to do with it. I can survive this jump, right? We have 69 viewers. 69. Thanks to the raid from the Babbles. Have you guys checked out the Babbles? Because you should. I'm going to switch right back to this. Again, I doubt it will do anything. Most things like this are scripted, but... Ah. I mean, we could just ignore that. And by we could, I mean, we're going to ignore that. Because those things are annoying as hell. So we can line this up. <laughs> oh, damn it. Are you done? I mean, I know you're there now. My dude. Oh my god, how big is that range? That range is crazy. Dastard, I guess he was. Dastardly. Later, Velix. Always check the walls and ceilings, especially in this place. Well, uh, yeah, we'll check it for now.
when it's up, it's creating a magic barrier thing. Uh, However, we've seen where you can get past that. You can all—I would imagine—you can also use bow and arrow for that. In fact, it would probably be easier to do it that way. How you doing? Wow, they didn't stagger him at all. I thought the barrage might uh, give us a little bit of extra time, but not quite. Any plain brick wall gets smacked. Up. Is that a ladder? Oh, no. Just an oddly illuminated wall inlet. Freezing grease. I feel like they were pretty generous with those keys. It wasn't like the ones in Dark Souls 2. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Okay. All right. How do we want to do this? Because we... I know where this is going. As soon as we walk in there, some shit's going to pop out. That's shadowy. Can probably do this. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, that, that went a little further than I was thinking. A little bit. So we know 100% there's going to be shadow enemies popping out. I mean, I see him. Come on, boys. Oh, shit. That's okay, though. Because once they're broken, they don't go back to shit. Oh, yeah, I must have hit it again. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the, uh, the star rain hitting the switch. Uh, we probably should have got the the trinket that gives us mana on on kills, but it's interesting. No, no. Health I'm less concerned with, since we're a caster and we can cheese everything. Cranial Vessel Candle Stand. Let's check that out. That'd be a good weapon for doing fire damage, in case we need to. We have some spells we can do fire with. When it said cranial, I thought it was the, the weird fire pot helmet thing that those one fat guys wear. Not not me, the other the other fat guys. Candle stand used in worship of Birak, the most hollow hallowed monk, prelate of the giant's flame. Concerned over the lazy arrogance with which the monks treated the flame, Barak served his own head, severed his own head as a lesson to the others, intending it to be used as a candle stand. That makes sense. His faith yet smolders from within the cranial vessel. 
Ever been so angry at someone you decapitated yourself and then said, hey, by the way, please turn my head into a candle stand. I hope he left a note or told somebody first and then cut his head off. Unique skill, Surge of Faith. Set the flame of Barak's faith ablaze in this cranial vessel, then raise it aloft to rain down fireballs in all directions. Repeated inputs will continue to raise the arm armament aloft, continuing the attack. We don't have the 26 strength for that. And that's fine. Well, that was a interesting side thing. We could just write it down, but actually we're not going all the way back, I don't think, so. Strong full ahead butthole, gotcha. Oh, I know what you're meaning. Thought I heard something. I definitely hear something. I don't know where he's at, though. There's no secrets here. There's never secrets, except when there is. And then there's secrets. Otherwise, there's never secrets. Any places to jump off? I would have done that anyway. To be fair. Oh, I see what we're going for. Pull the switch and then hop in, but we're not doing that yet. Ugh, the stairs are out of order, of course. Okay, so that's going to open that. Big boy is going to jump out. And then we will bravely fight him. Oh, is that it? I mean, there'll be other stuff, too, of course. We are going to go down, by the way. Come on. Yeah, no. You big mad. But hey, you're invulnerable, so, I mean, there's nothing to worry about. No, don't do that. That's dumb. No, no, no. I need you to get your happy ass in here. Hey! Somewhere, a heavy door. I appreciate you saying heavy and not fat. I've been very upset by that. Ah, that heavy door. Let us look around first and then we'll go downstairs. I hear you. Sounds like it's downstairs though, which is obviously where we're about to go. Can we... She's strategically eliminates enemies down here first, though. Unfortunately, we are not. We cannot. 
How many mana potions we get? Eight? Wow, really? It's time for strategy. Terra Magica. Fantastic spell. Uh, he's probably too far for this. Yeah. We actually want to aggro him here. Really? This is... Yeah, yeah, I kind of thought. Come on. There's probably an angle we can do this. We can make this happen. Hey, hey, hey! Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I'm the cheeser here. There's no reverse cheesing. He's out of range again. He said, well, I showed him. Never showed his face around here again. Damn it. Ah, we're going to have to actually fake, go down there and face this guy legit. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, we raise our hand up enough. Got to stay focused. No, nope, it's going to go too far. It's the cheese battle of the century. There can be only one. Nope, nope. No using geography against me, please. Elden Ring, as it was intended to be played. Now let's go down the elevator. We're gonna jump, not an animal. We're very low on healing, which is not the best. I guess we can't trigger it just by walking in. Okay. Uh, really? These enemies are awful. Hey, shithead. Come on. Sometime today, sir. This magic buff only lasts so long, my dude. Come on. So, we are 100% going to cheese this piece of shit.
I mean, strategically use our surroundings in order to aid us in battle. Oh shit. He's gonna hit us through that. Alright, so he wasn't the like really bad one. Who does that annoying as hell AUE uh, frost? Actually, oh my god, really? Please, enough. I know you like these mobs a lot. It is very clear that you love these mobs because you use them all the damn time. You are huge fans of them. Almost as much of the, as the tree lizard dogs. But have mercy. What a thrill With darkness and silence through the night Damn it. Okay, that was a short one. Please tell me with almost 69 people in here. Please tell me someone else got that reference. Please tell me you're cooler than my normal audience. Somebody. Yeah, that was a fairly obvious one. Uh, uh, uh. An obvious trap. Snake eater, thank you. Six, thank you. Because I do some obscure references sometimes. Well, semi-obscure. Not that obscure if you watch Sea Lab or Aqua Teen Hunger Force or any of quality television like that. But no one in here got that reference. No one. Be wary of plump sort. Yeah, he'd been taken care of. Giant's seal. Sacred seal depicting the one-eyed god of the fire giants, adorned with braids of red hair. Sacred seal wielded by fire monks and prelates. This catalyst enhances giant's flame incantations. Okay. I do a little... I've got a little bit of incantationing. I did put some points in faith. Ooh, great glove glow ward. Didn't even give me a special noise for that one. There are some epic ladders in this game. Uh, I used it in particular on that big one. There's a, there's a really big one in the tree town. I kind of want to drop and see where this goes, but I, I mean, it obviously goes, I think, below us. But let's go. I'd rather go the other way, because if that ends up. I mean, given where this ladder is, it should be very close to where we come down. Though I, maybe I'm a little fake a gamer because I actually never played Metal Gear Solid. Or, uh, that was four, right? Or no, that was Metal Gear Solid three. I have a weird play history with those games. I played, I played one. No, 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 no. I played. Wait, which one had Raiden in it? I played like two. No, no, yeah, I didn't play one. I played two. And then four and five. Oh my god, are you really? Uh. Wait a minute. How do I get back up? I gotta kill this thing, don't I? Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't. I don't hate my life at all. God, I hate these things. I hate my life. I hate these. But our ingenious strategy of using the local terrain to favor us in these battles. Oh god, please get in there. Shouldn't have done that. Got lucky. Oh, 
fighting like the brave mage that you are by running away and casting spells. Imagine meleeing that thing. Imagine. Watchdog's great sword. I adapted the collection of weapons I'll probably never get to use. But yeah, I, I did play two, four, and five. I never finished five, though. I had a weird part of five where I, I just lost all motivation to play. And it wasn't... Funny thing is, it wasn't like a game design fault, per se. But in, in short, what happened was there's this part where you have to infiltrate this place at night. And... Oh, no, no, no. That's what it was. You're... Like, so there's a military operation going on and your job is to stop reinforcements and supplies from from helping the enemy side. Right. So you get locked in this area and there's like two or three roads in and you get warned like, oh, they're coming the north road. Stop them. You know, and it'll be different things like tanks, anything from like tanks to just jeeps, you know, whatever. So you, your job is to stop them. Now, you don't have to actually stop them all. But you have to stop like X amount before they, they reinforce. And I on my very first try, I was doing really good. I was getting every single stop. And even occasionally, they'll give you optional ones and say, hey, look, you don't need to do this, but if you can, uh, they're sending, you know, extra supplies along this route. If you can, please try to stop them. And I was even getting those. Like, again, this is my first try. So I was like, yeah, like, we're doing it really well. Oh, okay, I see where we're at. And because I was doing so well, it added like a phase or two. Like new stuff was was being was happening. And it was super intense. And it just felt like I was actually stopping these reinforcements from getting to the enemy lines. And uh, like it, and like I said, it just felt so dynamic, it felt real. Because they, you know, they found out because I did so well, they were alerted and they started sending, you know, helicopters and stuff over. And I kept dealing with it, but I got to the very end. And finally, I, I, there was like one tank, one or two tanks left. And one tank, like I shot twice in the back with a rocket launcher. And it was going to take one more, but then I died. And it set up. So that you have, so instead of starting at a checkpoint, I started the entire mission all over again. It didn't even put checkpoints or like what I was accomplishing, right? Or, or the phases. I was going to have to do the entire mission all over again. And I just lost all motivation to do it again. I, and that, that, I don't even know if I tried that mission again. I think I tried it once more, but failed because I just, my heart wasn't in it. I was like, ah. Like, it, it just felt so bad. Ah, uh, shit. Well, we have no mana or mana potions or anything. So we are definitely boned on this. But I think there's a respawn up there. And we don't have that many souls on us, so... Let me guess. Oh, no, it's... Ancient Hero of Zamor. But there's a second phase of this for an ad. There's definitely more magic resistant now. Please not. I saw that coming from like a mile away. Ah, AoE. You're doing a ton of damage though. Damn it. But like, I, I mean, I've been, I felt like disappointed with stuff with games before and like, it wasn't even rage. I was just so disappointed that it didn't didn't save and I was going to, have to do like, and I could do it again, probably, but it just didn't feel good because it wasn't the first time, right? Like, the, like the first time I did it, 
and it just like I just I did it. You know what I mean? And it just felt bad. Um, let's summon the rats. Why not? Just because. I think you can summon on this. I'm assuming you can. Yeah. I'm not a purist. I summon on fights. Just because. Oh, he's very magic resistant, I see. I don't have moon either. Wait a minute. How is he magic resistant? My weapon is doing so much damage. Should go to next phase here in a second. Get them, rats. I like how that one rat is just standing there doing nothing. <laughs> They're like, get out of my fucking way! Zamor curved sword, Zamor mask, armor, bracelets, leg wraps. I was definitely expecting a tougher fight for the end, but I guess since they figured that like, you kind of went through a lot to get here, the sword was was wrecking him in that first phase. That was definitely the e the easiest hero hero grave. It was it was more standard. Uh, the shadow thing added an interesting element to it though. So yeah, after that, like I think I played Metal Gear Solid Five a few more times, but like just it, it broke me. Like I was just like, man, I I was so disappointed. Fun game though. It's just that one occurrence. In my bucket list of things to do, I want to talk to Kojima one day and tell him that story, and I want to see what his his thought process is. Because honestly, I really think they should have added checkpoints. To the like to the phases, right? I think that because again, I think if you don't do all of them, when you get to the part that normally would have a couple bonus phases, you would just leave, I think. Yeah, I know it's there. So I think at that point, it should have added a checkpoint. Just doing it all over again, I was just not having it. And like I said, it wasn't even just the act of doing it again. It's just like it was going so well, it felt so good, like doing it that first time. And after that, like even if I had done it on my second attempt, it would have, it would have ruined the mission for me. He would just slap me with a wad of cash. I mean, that'd be all right. Maybe a few of those $100 bills will fall off into my top. You know what I mean? I'll get to keep them. I'm all right with that. I'm not above being slapped in the face for money. Uh, that's... Okay, yeah, we have it. Okay. I mean, I'd have, have a translator, because I'm pretty sure Kojima doesn't understand English, but... And now I'll, I'll never actually... I'll never be important enough to talk to Kojima, so that'll never happen. But if I do, I'm telling him that story. And I, I would be very curious what his takeaway is. He'd probably be like, I have no idea what mission you were talking about. We were so high back then. Which, uh-oh. Which, I kind of feel like Kojima's high probably a lot. Like, a lot. Like the FromSoft devs, when they come up with some of these stories and enemies. No hands, please. I'm trying to look around.
so this one here. I want to know what's there. Hold up. We can teleport back. So I want to get across there. Were this guy here? Were this guy here before? Oh, 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 I see where I'm at. Oh, we've been here. Okay, okay, okay. We, we crossed that. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we went across that, but there was nothing there. I guess. Because I definitely went across there. I'm pretty sure I definitely crossed there. Okay. Do you say you're in this area? Comp? You know, all these giants seem to die kind of the same way. Probably should have equipped the fire spell. That would have been a smart thing to do. Uh, are you here yet? I can't remember if you said you were here yet or not. Hundred percent sure what happened there. He got staggered. I think he. I don't know how he got staggered because I thought the spell was done. But oh hey. Hey. Next cast. There it goes. I mean, about a mile or an hour later. I have no idea what these guys' attack patterns are. We're in uh, Cairn 2.0. Whatever that place is called. Talib. Working on the area I already did. Okay, I see what you mean. It must have been magic. Hefty beast bone. You trying to get over here or what the hell's happening? Yeah, good place to hide from the birds if you need to duck in here and heal. Well, they, depending on the size of the hit, they would go right through the walls. Is that? Uh, Rum does not give two shits. 
about walls when it comes to attacks. Ah, oh, they're fighting the giant. Good. The Yeti. The Yeti from... Uh... What was that from? It was Rudolph, right? Yeah, Rudolph had the giant Yeti, right? That old claymation thing. Let's see if we can even this up a little bit. Damn it. Really bad at judging ranges. Hold up, Biggin. Luckily, they're doing no damage to you at all. I do like watching them fight, though. I afraid that was going to happen. Ooh, yeah, smack him. Be cool now, or... Guess not. Drink! Damn it. I love when he does that because it makes it easier to hit him in the face. More gigantic mutated animals. I like how they could fight for an eternity because they do jack shit damage to each other. But me, on the other hand, they do full damage to me. What is up with the ground here? That's happening a lot. What are you? AI, are you okay? Try to wait. Definitely want to kill the birds. They're far more dangerous than the Yetis are. Far more. Like, not even close. Not gonna have time. We can hit them both. Oh, for the love. Thank you. Killed him on accident. That's a stone, son. Ah, the sun's in my eyes. Oh, whoops. Oh, my God. Seriously. Put past it like three times. Far more dangerous are the birds. Oh, are you doing that city? Where you gotta light the towers? That place sucked ass. You never see, like, actual mobs the size of those skulls. Wait, is that a... Is that a baby crow thing? No, it's just a regular one. Just further away. Nope. Game. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Sometimes the game just really likes to lose the cursor. 
Doesn't happen a ton, but almost got me killed a time or two. I see you hiding behind that. You're too big for this. Are you seriously... Or are you just napping? I think he was napping. I wanted to uh, stun him to get that sweet stab. Uh, in the crouch. But that smells fantastic. Yeah, are you in? Uh, are you in that town with the archers, the Abanorix? More hands. I would, in fact, like for you to stop showing me hands. The nice thing about the hands, though, if there is anything positive that can possibly be said about them, is that if you shoot them off of these things, they are stunned for a little bit. Yes, comp. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Oh, if, if it didn't, I uh, would have probably told that place to fuck off. That area is hot garbage. Game, would you like to target the gigantic enemy in front of me? I guess not. Nice. Perfect. Ah. <sighs> I swear, the minute you start trying to mess around at all, the game finds a way to screw you over. Not even like in a in a nice way, in a Remember how bad the camera is? You don't, let's remind you. Oh man, we gotta kill this crap again. Worst part of dying is killing the trash again, I think. Because you tend to make a sec mistakes like the second time, right? Because you're like, okay, okay, let's go. These aren't even very good XP, I don't think. Could be a big mistake. Yeah. I actually don't know these guys' patterns at all. God, I love it. Enemies live with like two hit points left. Oh, my shield is gone. Up, get up. Thank you. Oh, God. I mean, I guess the XP is actually not terrible. Yeah, I think the first torch I did for that was the worst one. There is a way to see, I don't know if you've found the assassin gen, or more like they found you yet, but there is a way to see them. Temporarily, it's annoying and tedious, but you can do it. See you looking at me. I should have got a fire spell, then I always need to think about that. Whenever I... Really? Come on. 
Yeah, and like attacks like that, I always dodge because I'm like, well, I don't know if that yanks them forward really far. I don't know if that's like gonna be like a stationary move. So it's always safer to just dodge. Yeah, I got to that point where I just. Uh, I kind of like looked ahead. Oh, my shield keep getting good shot. We probably could just do one of these, but I really. I don't want to be fighting something else and then all of a sudden. They're going to keep each other busy for now. I'm going to take this one out. I think it's a little bit too far. Really going, well, hoping for a stun because I wanted to stab him. But he's dead. That's it all. All that matters at the end of the day. Yes, please knock those down. He's like, whoa, actual damage. What the hell? Try to hit him in the head for extra stun. Yeah, that town had one one that was actually super easy to get. And then one that was a royal pain. And of course, I did the hard one like first. You can also kind of look around ahead of time and see like how you get there. Because I had to do that at one point because I couldn't see how to get there. It was too much of a pain. Oh my god, the all okay. <laughs> No, they're just going to go check on the other one. See, this is why, well, this is one of the reasons why magic is so powerful in this game. Not necessarily for the magic itself a lot of the times. Oh my god. Thank you. Really need to switch to melee, but even then they attack so quick consecutively it can be hard to know when the get an attack I should put the heal. I think there was a third one. Yeah. Should be able to take care of this one pretty easily, though. With some Loretta's Mastery Abuse. So much of this is hilly. I'd rather waste mana there than to risk having them, having them still be alive. Much of a pain in the arse. I'm expecting more to be hanging off of shit. Is it me or is this one even bigger than the other giants? Still not big enough to have a skull that size. I keep looking at that thing and like, did I go there? I think I did, but then I'm like, oh yes, I definitely went. I don't know why. That one area in particular is making me struggle trying to remember if I've been there. Alright, 
when does something pop out of this snow? Nope. Nope. Still get the keys mixed up after 200 hours. What? Okay. Where? You wielding that sword I've heard so much about? Okay, now an attack. Holy cheese. Now I see why people hate this thing. Blocked and he still did insane damage. Hey, look, there it is. Rivers of Blood. Okina Mask. Yeah, apparently that gate, that weapon is ridiculously good. And like 90% of the PvPers use it. I know it might be a shock, but apparently the PvP is grossly broken in favor of. A single weapon and playstyle. Shocking, I know. No one saw that coming. Oh, we are definitely going to check this weapon out, though. Though I... We... It almost certainly isn't going to... Oh, we had to have 20 arc for that. Really? Uh, where are we at? 18 right now. With the rune. Weapon of Okina... Wordsman from the land of reeds, a cursed weapon that has felled countless men. When Moeg, the Lord of Blood, first felt Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. Unique skill, Corpse Piler, forms a blade of cursed blood for repeated interweaving successive attacks. Follow up with additional input for further successive attacks. All right, well, we'll be... Put a few points in Arcane for that. I'll be all right with that. We don't have anything that gives us arcane without also increasing damage taken, and we definitely don't want to increase damage taken because the damage taken in this part of the game uh, is ludicrous. So with this armor, it seems to be helping a little bit. Basically, with the with the red as mastery or with the Loretta's Bow spell, either one of them. Basically, if you can target them, you can hit them. I'm going to heal just to be 100% safe here. Because I'm hoping there's a bonfire in there. Stop. Oh, really? I think we're just out of range. So if you can target them, usually you can hit. Usually. Sometimes they're just barely out of range. But it, the range is ridiculous, as you can see. Church of Repose. Light this first, just in case. Always light the fire first. Just in case. If some bullshit happens, you can resurrect. Oh shit, I forgot to use Sacred Tear. Or now we have two. So we twice as effective. That's how this works. What are we at? 10-4? That seems fine.
I don't really have the weight capacity to, to wield a priest item. But I really want to try this spell, so we'll make it work. Uh, we'll level up Arcane. Oh, we're still medium. Okay. We know that obviously it doesn't weigh much, but I was like right on the border of being over encumbered. Oh, we can also get rid of stealth movement. I do like my charge attacks, or charge spells, a lot. Okay. They're like, no, no, there's nothing up there. Half of these are going to hit the damn floor. Actually, all but one hit the damn floor. I should, all of this together should really... Increase our damage with this. Not that it really needed it. Only 3,000 that time. Oh. I'm not charging in on those hands because almost certainly there's a big hand waiting to jump out. I can smell it. We don't have to worry about being mana efficient. We are outdoors, so we're flasks are get replenished. I will go here. There's a hand, but not one of those hands. We can hop in here if we need to. Horse pad. Just Actually, not a pad for horses to pee on, so you can bring them inside. As I initially thought. Uh, we'll come back to this. So is it stable now, or is it still going in and out? Which I guess you probably won't be able to answer that, because your internet will be going in and out. I'd rather not kill these, but... But... I also don't want them hopping down on us. I think we would go, we'll kill these and then go back to the jump pad. And go up there once we've cleared these out. God, this arrow's going so far. And do so much damage. Well, with all this stuff tied up, they do. With all this buff stacking. You're poisoning through the arrow people? Like, just blocking them or just straight up tanking it? Tanking hits. Hmm, I was hoping that would happen. Wasn't 100% sure if it would go through that or not. Yeah, the reason I got demounted was when I got invaded, which was, I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you got, I mean, it makes sense. I sort of, it doesn't make sense logically, but I guess a gameplay balance thing. 
I can fly higher than an eagle. For the love of God, get off your mount when you're on high places. Or, like, tight areas. I've seen so many bloodstains. Trolls roar. They sure do. Interesting. God, how many of those messages are about rumps or rears or buttholes? Right down, you think? I want to do that in VR. Because I keep Comet as my default, just because it's of the spells I have memed, it's the fastest. Did you get the last one? Comp? That place took a little bit, that's for sure. Because I feel like I, I tried to kind of do it legit at first. And then after I got the, the first one, I was like... Or no, actually, no, the first one I got wasn't that bad. The second one I got was the worst. And then after that, I, I did just kind of say, screw it. Yeah, at this point in the game, too, you can't really play Fashion Souls as much. I mean, the armor helps. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to really test it, but I feel like armor helps not a ton. Like numerically, it you know, it was all you know, 35% or whatever. I'm not gonna kill those if I don't need to. But I guess it just doesn't feel like it does much. I mean I, but to be fair, I'm also not wearing like heavy plate or anything. I thought it was a butterfly, it's the it's not no texture. Ouch. Oh, so it did come back. Yeah, you're probably like on a bad, uh, I forget what they call it, like circuit or something. I used to work for uh, a cable. Well, I've actually, ooh, hello. Worked for a few. Well, I've only really worked for a cable provider, but I've done support for like the internet service for people who had like smaller internet. Anyway, or cable providers. Anyway. Uh, I've also worked for fairly big cable company and yeah like they were even like yeah we know some people are going to call you from this area with shitty internet and there's just nothing you can do because we need to upgrade it and we just haven't done it yet Going too far yeah Not a fan of that. And that's one of many reasons why it blows my mind that some companies still do this bullshit where you can't play their single player game if you lose internet access. Uh, apparently the uh, Red Dead 2 Oh, is that an actual fire giant? Well, we need to go get that. Grace fire first. Not a bonfire. No, no, it's a grace fire. Totally different thing. But apparently, like, at one point, online went down after the whole 
fiasco with the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy remastered. And people could not play Red Dead Online, or I'm sorry, Red Dead to the single player. Because the online to an unrelated game went down. Uh oh. What the fuck? Are you fucking shitting me right now? fucking hands are you using for this? Please, game. You see that enormous fucking hand the size of a house? It might not be blatantly obvious to you, but I am trying to target it. I'm aware that it is slightly behind a tree, and I know this confuses you greatly. Why hit the grace fire first, by the way, before you do anything. Whoop. Shit. I'm still bad at. I'm sorry. Actually, too far away. Good lord. And you didn't even drop anything. Are you kidding me? Get that shit the fuck out of here. We've been feeding these hands. What if you can train the hand over to all the other stuff that's fighting and then watch them just have a have a go at it? Well, given that these guys are doing 20 and 30 damage to each other, if that, then they probably just be fighting forever. I have to say, it does kind of take me out of take me out of it a little bit. When, like, in areas like this, like, it's pretty cool. But having all all of the giants being almost identical, kind of a bummer. Like, they have the exact same pose. All of them have something wrong with their arm. Their, their left arm, specifically. Like, that one is still attached, but it's getting briared. This one that just fell off entirely. But for the most part, they're all almost exactly the same. Which, you know, again, we're going back to the plant theme. Plants and briars theme. That's where it wants us to go. Let's keep going this way. The big bowl. I know you haven't actually gotten this far, Jolinar, but do you know... Like, I don't know if you've been... I know you watched Co-Play some. I don't know if you watched him beat it. But how far would you... Like, how close am I to the end now? Don't know. Okay. Oops, what's that? Oh, shit. Nope. 
it's not the shield. Should the shield be? Oh wow! Okay, never mind. Those are a lot weaker than the birds. Ooh, there's a grace tree. Not that those do mean any good anymore. I'm still mad about that giant hand. Biggest hand in the game. Drops nothing. What a jerk. Yeah, it's, again, not a huge negative, but it does take me out a little when they're all, like, almost identical. And there, I mean, there is some variation. They all have that same exact pose, which I'm assuming is just due to them being killed by the briars and blood magic. We've definitely seen uh, a lot of thorns, mostly again with blood magic. Or blood, like, damage, I guess. Can you see my map? Yeah. Anything in particular? Uh, I did most of the Halig tree. I have not beat that pain in the ass boss yet. This is the only underground I have. I feel like there's at least one of them that I'm missing. Yeah, god damn it. Fuck, this game is ridiculous. Two parts of the underground that I'm missing. I knew there was at least one. Because I, I've been avoiding other streams for spoiler reasons. But I was watching uh, the Babbles play. I was watching Justin play. and uh, He was in the underground area. And I'm like, oh, I've been here. But then he fought a boss. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think I've seen that boss. And I was like, oh, my God. There's another one of those I haven't found. Can I knock that rock off? Because, I mean, that looks like it's just about to go. I mean, I think... Where is that one? Ah. You're doing good. Keep it up. Fantastic work. Hurry up. I was uh, shooting there real quick. Yellow it. Because I can't target him. There we go. Because he was just about to go out of range. Some of those are very precise. I need to counter those. I, well, I want to go to those. The underground areas. I see. Oh, okay. Fire hurts. No good to note.
What's up, bitch? He made it through there. How do we get stuck? All right, the other guy's gonna be throwing at me, so this will be a pain in the dick. Oh my God, it's gonna be a super pain in the ass. Oh shit! Just what I planned. Exactly. Nope, that's death. Yes. Yes, it's a skeleton. Oh, the the snowy area with the the heavy snows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said fuck that and just went through. I hate those types of areas in games. I mean, as much as I enjoy going blind in real life. Uh oh. Hold up. Because the game wants to hit me with blinding rays. We met at the teleport bag if we want to get back because I feel fairly certain we're not supposed to be here uh, we could maybe double jump Wait, what? Did I go that far? I'll, wait, what? No, that's not the same one, right? That's not the one I was fighting. There's no way. No way we went that far. Right? There he is. I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm still over there, bro. Keep looking. I'm gonna appear. Yeah, I I I skipped that icy area. Well not skip, but you know what I mean. I did not fully explore it. I'm not taking any chances. It sucks fighting these dudes up here. For obvious reasons. Uh, he's too far to target. So I can't uh, strategically eliminate the enemy using superior range tactics. It is. It is trash. Did you finish the Albaneric area? The one with the, the towers? That one sucked. That's probably... I think that's probably my least favorite area in the game. Like, I'd rather do the snow fields again than that. That was so tedious to do. Like, I guess now if I went back and did it, I could do it just suicide it but I actually tried to take the assassins out so so you can see the assassins if you use the sentry torch specific I don't I mean I don't think any torch will work I think you have to use a sentry torch 
you can see them, but you have to have the, t the torch in your hand. If you put it away, they disappear again like two or three seconds later. And they, of course, have a ton of hit points. They do shitloads of damage. So you're sitting there trying to fight them. And they're one of those enemies who's like super aggressive. Like attacks a bunch very, very quickly. So you have not a whole lot of time to counter. It's just terrible. That place would have been annoying, but passable with just the all Bernaric ladies. But throwing in the assassins on top of it was like, really? Like, are you doing this? You found an invisible boss? That's one I've missed. It must maybe one of the uh, underground areas. I will try to go look at those up, most likely. Because, because apparently. Are we? Did we hit it yet? Did we hit it? We did. Look at that. Over 200 hours now. I've done every dungeon I can find, and I'm still missing some. I, mean, I have no doubt that... Oh, shit. Right, we don't have anywhere near enough to level, so that's fine. As much as I like the rats... Who do we use? We got Bloodhound. We got uh, Flow up to nine. Let's, let's just use him a bit. The okay, cave with two bosses. I have I have found at least one. I found one cave with two bosses in it. Okay. Huh? What do you smell? Huh? What? Timmy fell down the well. Oh, no. We better go help him. I love you, Lassie. I mean, Flo. You're the best. Have you ever seen an episode of Lassie, comp? Chance on to look for the glowy part for the invisible boss. That's the actual boss. What? Uh, yeah. Oh no, that's the staff. That's the staff. Don't hit him with the staff. Don't hit him with the staff. Wait, what are you talking about? Jelinar is his... Oh, Ko. Ko did it. Uh, link it to me on Discord. I don't want to see the fight itself, which, I mean, I know they're invisible, so I won't see the fight. But you know what I mean. I, I want to see where the cave is. Come on, Flo. You all right? Jesus, the AI in this game. And that is one thing they really need to get. Oh, for crying out loud. Hello? Come deal with this bullshit, please. Sometime today. I don't want to inconvenience you. The only, I think the only boss fight that I've hated so far was Melisandre, or whatever her name is. That fight feels like shit. I feel like fight feels like total shit. What are you doing? I don't know why I just broke there. Puberty's a bitch. Yeah, butterfly wing lady. 
That fight was is ass. I'm sorry, that fight just sucks. Get him, boy! You have to be careful here, I don't actually know how to fight these. Feel that blood. I'm actually surprised I hit. Double bleed. Do you build bleed faster if you two hand the weapon? Which other area? I want to finish clearing this out first. Oh, camp. What am I missing? Oh, uh, we can go uh, find where it's at at some point. But I definitely want to clear this area. Because I don't want to have to come back and do this again. No, I mean this, this area, not the entire section. The Raiders are destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. None of the Raider survivors are ever heard. What is up, X Gauntlet? Thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. gonna try to ninja slice it right at the, in there oh boy we gotta stop messing around all right we had our fun ninety nine int nine vigor my god why do you hate yourself so much Uh, believe it or not, we're actually int build. I'm kind of just messing around with those guys. While Bloodhound Knight Flow apparently is... Uh, oh, look, he's over there. He's taking a piddle by the tree. Who knows? But thank you for the raid. I'm assuming you were playing Elton Ring. Given what you said. Let me shout you out because my mods are very asleep. It probably helps. I'm not a good speller. It's not one of the things that I've been uh, accused of. What the? Is there two? There's two in there, isn't there? There is. Yes, it's better if you copy and paste. Thank you very much for the raid. We are currently still on my first playthrough, and we broke 200 hours today. First playthrough. I'm trying to find everything. Well, not everything, but almost everything. Because truth is, I probably won't get a chance to play it again. So I kind of wanted to do, do almost all of it. I don't want it to be like an area like, oh man, I never did find that or whatnot. So... We're, we're doing doing a ton of it. We're, I th we're getting there. I think I'm getting pretty close. I've got all the map parts. We're in Frozen Giant Land, which I guess they used to be Fire Giants, and now they're Slushy Giants. So this game literally never ends. But it is very, very fun. Missing some underground parts we've just discovered. I still need to go beat Butterfly Lady, which I'm still looking for a way to... Probably cheese her. Okay. I'm giving up on Bloodhound. He is just doing his own thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm going... 
caster, but I've been missing, mixing in some melee just to kind of keep things interesting. I just got the, so I've heard, super OP River of Blood sword, so that'll be fun. Alright. See you later, River of, or, uh, Low. You, uh, weren't very helpful, to be totally honest, but I know your heart was in it. Because nothing else was. Is this another hand? I swear to God. Grace Mimic. That's interesting find here. So yeah, you know, only another month of this game. And yeah, you can see her on day 27 of streaming this. But, like I say, I'm still enjoying it, or else I'd have been like, alright, I'm good. Out of, I'm right, I'm good now. Out of. Kind of like we did with Dying Light 2. I still enjoyed Dying Light 2. I think it gets overly crapped on, but... I definitely, uh... Finally got to kind of my end on that one. You don't get mad at the game? Oh, I, I do that. I definitely do that. One hundred percent. Where are we? Okay. So we need to go across that chain at this point. As a matter of fact, let me... It should be fairly obvious, but with me, it never hurts to be extra careful. Okay, now we cleared that. Okay, we've cleared that. Why not get back up there? Is it time? Uh, actually, it might be, because I'm going to be boarding back, most likely, here in a second. Because I don't see any items here. Ooh. Yeah, where were you wanting me to go? Underground area. There's Ainsel River and then whatever this is supposed to be. Like, it doesn't even have a name on it. That's kind of weird. A whole ass boss? I mean, that's not... I mean, I would assume so, since I'm missing two underground areas. I'm, I'm assuming I'm missing two asses of bosses. Nox, okay, yep. Uh. In the areas I have. Oh, okay. Not with the Ant Riders. This one, Ainsel River downstream. The first Nolk. Where the crater was. This is where the crater is. Comes out. Isn't it? Aqueduct Facing Cliff's Grace. Is that the actual name of it? I mean, I can go here and take the elevator up.
I don't have that one. What's the closest one? Ancestral woods, worshippers woods. Ah, uh, here we go. Is this the one with the damn archers? Because those guys suck. Uh, it is. How in the hell? I mean, I would say how in the hell did I miss it, but seriously. Northeast. So head to this ish kind of Those attacking me randomly. Right by that building is a path to grace, okay? here. Two drops antlers. I don't yeah, I don't think I've gotten those antlers. Yeah, I mean, I figured the wear. Because the other ones I've gotten the, like, bigger antlers on. Keep going? Okay. Because I remember coming up here. This is one of those areas, like, this, I swear to God, if it's in like that, I'm going to be pissed. Because I thought I checked. Wait a minute. Check oh for fuck's sake. Wait, hold on. Cause I checked a lot of this area. Hey, look. I swear to god, I wonder if this is one of those areas that I looked at and was like, oh, I should come back. And check this at some point. But I thought I did that. I think I thought I dropped down here, but apparently I didn't. What the fuck? How? Now I think I oh I want to say I almost remember looking down, and thinking, oh I should drop there, and then not. God damn it. Or I I was like I'll come back to it, and then of course I forgot because there's eight thousand places to go in this game. And I kept looking at it thinking, like, oh, man, it seems like such a waste. It feels like there should be something there. <sighs> I mean, if nothing else, I should have been looking across and saw the, the scarab. And been like, oh, there's a scarab there. Clearly, that means there's something there.
Thanks for the info, though. I think that's always the most frustrating. When you, like, see something... Nice. And you're like, oh, shit, like... Oh, 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 I see. God, this place. Like the background music. I, I mean, I like it, actually. But it can be a little, little irritating. God damn it. So frustrating to get to an area you're like you should have found this. Yeah, like I, and that's the other thing too, right? With streaming it, at some point I have to be like, okay, I think I've checked it. People don't want to watch me spend the, an extra hour or whatever. Missionary's cookbook. People don't want to spend, you know, watch me spending uh, an hour checking and rechecking when more often than not I found everything but then there are these places that uh, people are still mentioning or I'm finding that uh, that I didn't didn't check out or I didn't get a sacred order pot okay have you used sleep at all in this game what does it do as a status effect That's why you do it on your own. Yeah, I, I totally understand that. It's just like I, I really wanted to stream it. And put it on YouTube over at youtube.com slash vertigo tea party. Make sure to check it. And also, if you haven't already and you like what you see, wink, wink. Make sure you follow. Don't forget, because I know I would have gotten more follows, but people just forgot. But I promise you. Possibly best streamer in a is not me, but still, though, you should definitely follow. How dare you hide behind a wall? Coward, take your arrows to the face while I shoot you from a hundred meters away like a man. Pretty sure the horse can't make that. And subscribe on YouTube. I mean, you can subscribe here as well if you'd like, but... Eventually, we're going to finish this game. At some point, we're going to finish this game. And I normally have ended streaming by now, but I am streaming more because we got those big raids... Those big boy raids. And I'm like, hey, let's keep going. So can I get some follows? For going above and beyond. Normally I don't ask for follows like that. Because it disgusts me. But I figure, hey, if I do it like in a comical way, it's not as gross. I mean, it's not as... It's not as terrible. Damn it, I said gross in a way that I hate when people use it. Damn it. We'll pretend I didn't do that. Tally's asleep. She'll never know. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this enemy type. I'm not about to go out there, by the way. Because I know shooting me with marshmallow arrows. Delicious. You should open your mouth. Try to catch them. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, actually, that's pretty fucking... Hold up. Hold up. I meant to do that.
Oh, this ability? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Put some clothes on, hippie. But I do play a wide variety of games, not just Elden Ring. I still haven't even thought about what I'm going to play after this. Something short and something faster paced. I mean, not that this is super slow paced, but maybe I'll play Quake next. I want, I want to play, uh, I want to do Quake this year. Relax. I don't want this little guy running away. Order healing. Can I Uber Eats some healing? Is that is that the premise? Get back in the horror games? Yeah, those are those always work well. Or streaming. Well, when you're actually react to them. They're probably pretty they're really pretty boring when, when I do it. How in the hell did I miss this? Seriously. I'm so angry about that. Yeah, I... We never looked at that armor we got. We got this creepy thing. Masks worn by Knights of Zamor hailed as heroes in the war against the giants. These long-lived warriors, clad in biting, freezing winds, are said to have been the mortal enemies of the fire giants since time immemorial. Ooh, wow. Creepy. A wooden mask that depicts an old man baring his teeth. Sounds like me. The source of the sobriquet? So, sobriquet, quit. Uh, the great swords of the land of reeds. Raises dexterity as it lowers focus. The more he sharpened his mind, the more the absurdities of the world came in the stark relief. And so Akina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane. There was only himself, his katana, and its mastery. Jesus, it sounds like he was like a 15-year-old with a, with a mall katana. Before long, Akina became a demon of a swordsman. What is that actually called? Akina mascot. Oddly enough. I got all of his armor, right? We, got, we just got his mask. This is a more thing. But here's something's crawling. I'd better not. Leg wraps. That's good enough. We've run out of metal to make boots, sir. Ah, just give me some bandages. I'll wrap those around my legs. It's fine. Sir, I don't think that'll be... No, I'm, I'll be fine. That's, that's more of a handcuffs than anything. Oh, I'm looking beautiful. No matter what they say. Like I say, I, I really feel like I... Probably, wait a minute. Oh, that is a bug. Yeah, see, it's the wall is kind of clipping through there. Uh, was that all the this? Hold up. Oh, no, okay. Eh. 
enemy hiding behind a waterfall. Huh, okay. You had him. Y'all might want to come out of there. This plan is not working well for you. I want to re-strategize. Hey, that's my shield. Backstab! Getting my beautiful hair all wet. God. I miss the days where I can had the hair to w get wet. Oop. Don't forget to pick up the bugs. Because that's how desperate we are for loot. That we'll pick up bugs. Because hey, that one looks golden. It might be worth something. Wait. Hey. Hey, girl, what's up? What? Sure. Uh, I mean, uh, hey, dude. Da, da, re, mm, uh, 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 Drink some Kool-Aid. It's a nice dress you have, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. Great. Dari, don't like it. All right, so now stab him, right? I have no idea who... Dari is. Fucking do it. Alright, check this floor first and then go upstairs. Check the roofs. This is a place of worship. Cover your ass. Animals. God, he'd have so many pieces of porcelain jammed into your back and sides and God knows what else that they're all just rolling. All right, now let's go upstairs. Uh, sure, yeah, because I don't remember. Ah, hell. I don't remember being given armor or anything. Mm hmm. We haven't used our girls in a while. Oh, hey. D. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Yeah, you can come still. Yeah, yeah, I get it was the two armor, but I don't remember him, like, telling me. To give the armor to anybody or anything? I vaguely remember him leaving. Oh, let's see him. Wait, can I? Probably too far. Oh. What a valiant.
I am casting the wrong spells like crazy. I mean, I did actually mean to do the A. But. Oh, it's my buff thing. I can't see with all this damn water. Hey, look, a second one. Shocking. Finish him off. Crazy. Y'all yeah, stand in that. It helps you. It increases your health. You idiots. Hey, D, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a gigantic second. He's like, oh my god, where did that come from? You like that, don't you, bitch? Gargoyle's great sword and twin blade. No one. Oh well. Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't know. He might have told me he was leaving. I honestly don't remember. Try to feed him one by one. A brilliant plan. Thank you. Go to the coffin. All right. I'm assuming there's a coffin here. You don't mean the one, the other one. Pretty cool looking area. Oh, by the grace? The one that goes into the, uh, like the doo-doo lake? Yeah, I don't, I don't trust you, game. Not even a little. Like, sure, we're not going to walk off a cliff. Well, I mean, underwater cliff? I mean... It's the, you can have an underwater cliff. It's still a cliff, like a big drop-off, right? It's just entirely underwater. Oh, I see it. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking around for... Well, I didn't know that, but I was just looking for items and whatnot. I'm assuming there's not. There's usually... They usually make them pretty obvious. All right. So as any sane person would do, let's go hop into this random stone coffin and lock ourselves inside. Because that's just what people do. And it changes our gender all of a sudden. This armor doesn't make me look very feminine. You gotta be pretty strong, I feel like, to not just move that lid. Move it from the inside. Sure, this is what I expected. We're riding one of the Matrix lines up. My people need me. break never trust delta with your packages i guess or your fragile luggage which you wouldn't think a giant stone coffin would be all that fragile C characters like oh my god are you shitting me
there's more to this shit? Are you insane? I feel like the actual Earth is smaller than this game. Hey, look, another Earth tree. Yes, I know. Oh shit, here we go again. That's a long walk you got, baby. of the Avatar. A new staff use. I haven't got a new staff in like a million years. Oh, and it's not it's not an actual staff. I mean, not that I really need one. I got the best. Well, sort of the best. Is it a pendant? Because, I mean, that, that doesn't make sense, I realize. What is that? Was it a was it a weapon? All right. Good night, comp. Thanks. Yeah, I, I probably should be wrapping up here. I mean, I should have wrapped up about two hours ago. It's a hammer. Of course. Just like these instruments. There it is. Staff of the Avatar. Ceremonial staff depicting the Erd Tree in its historic radiance, while wielded by the avatars who protect the minor Erd Trees. The avatars emerging in the wake of the Elden Ring shattering were determined to protect the withering Erd Tree's offspring. Erd Tree Slam! Jump up high on the ground and crash down on the ground ahead. The resulting Pret Fall sends golden shockwaves in all directions. It's the most powerful of all the ground slam skills. It makes sure to tell you so that there could be no confusion. This is the best ground slam you're going to get. All right. Thank you for the alert. Where are we, by the way? My God. Literally. Okay, it's an ant. Literally the longest game that's ever been made. Do it again. Damn it. He took the high road. Don't have any shield on your torso, bitch. Oh, well. All right, we are. Uh, no, we still have 38% physical resist. I want to make this work, damn it. Big attack. Somehow. Damn. Don't know why I thought that was a good idea. the clouds now.
No, we did get that in that one, Jolinar. That was the one that took us to... Uh... Actually, that was past Poo Poo Lake, I think. Oh, shit. No pun intended. Golden land, Ash of War. But yeah, that was... Uh, after you get past the Rotten Lake, and then there's that one area with with all the centipedes and the like temple-y type area, we did go down that one. In fact, I got in on accident. I was trying to read a message next to it, and I got too close, uh, and I activated it instead. The more I play, the more I am convinced Velix missed more stuff than he thought he did. Oh my lord. Oh my Atlanta. Ooh, easy. Are you sure? I mean, I mentioned thinking it was a sex change one. Yeah, I'm not sure where another one would be. Urge. That was kind of close. All right. So here's the thing. It's like almost two in the morning and I got work in the morning. And unfortunately, tomorrow isn't a work from home day. The only work from home day I have is today, actually, which is annoying, but it is what it is. My company is still living in the Stone Age, even though we have proven we can do our work 100% from home. They still insist on making us come to the office most days. For asinine reasons. So. Okay. Let me head back. Do not have enough to level. We should be a pro. Wait. Where the hell? Alright, I want to kill one of these. And then we'll go back. Oh, damn. I'm too used to the, the dogs and uh, other crap over in the Winter Wonderland. Taking a ton of damage. Yeah, the only one I know of, the only one I remember is... Unless there was one in uh, the underground area with the the dudes riding the ants. There might have been one at the very beginning of that area. Good luck finding it on YouTube. Well, I mean, we're not even close to that. It's a river of milk. If that's the case, we're not even close. Or, or like, YouTube-wise, I think we're you're probably not even close to that. On YouTube, I'm probably... I have, I have video scheduled all the way into uh, May at this point. Like, well into May. 
and that's not even like I haven't uploaded the last three or four streams. But anyway, uh, let me wrap it for YouTube folks first. Twitch folks, hang out just one moment, if you would please. I'll make it short because again, I gotta go to bed. YouTube folks, thank you guys for watching. Next time we come back, we'll be doing this area, which will be fun. And uh, I'll see y'all next time.